NBA All-Star Weekend officially underway, and our team is live all across the city. The countdown to tip-off has officially rose now to zero. And the big weekend finally here. Thanks for joining us for our news live at five. I'm Beer Shelley. And I'm Dan Spieler. You saw there we've got team coverage tonight all across the city. The gates to Bicentennial Unity Plaza just opened up ahead of the big event called the Tip Off. That's an event that will celebrate Indiana's very special connection to basketball and also to the arts. So let's turn to Fox 59's Eric Graves, who's live tonight where it's all getting started. Eric, how's it looking out there? Hey, no surprise here, guys. I pulled the best job of the bunch once again. We are here at Tip Off, the first ever opening ceremony for an NBA All-Star Weekend. The gates are opening right now. We are expecting thousands of people here tonight. Special musical guests, special NBA legends will be here as well. It's all a part of the many firsts that Indy is kicking off this All-Star Weekend. Never before has NBA All-Star Weekend tipped off like this. Bicentennial Unity Plaza will have surprise musical guests and NBA legends in attendance. We would have never been able to put that on if we were here um, three years ago. It's one of the many aspects of Indy's All-Star benefiting from the weekend being delayed from 2021 to 2024, giving NBA and Pacers organizers more time to create the largest fan event in league history. With over 350,000 square feet of space, with over 100 players and legends appearing throughout the weekend. From Monument Circle to the Convention Center, everywhere downtown is a part of Indy's home court, including its home turf. Lucas Oil Stadium. An incredible opportunity for us to be able to host up to 35,000 fans on Saturday night. It can fit twice the fans as Gamebridge and will be packed for the celebrity game Friday night in the three-point contest, dunk contest, and more on Saturday. Besides the players themselves, all eyes will actually be on the court. It's basically a television screen that we're playing basketball on. That's right, an NBA regulation glass basketball court with tons of LEDs underneath, projecting different courts, engagement, and even following the path of players. So if a shot goes in, we can do an embellishment on the floor, something that you would normally see on the video board, we can do it on the court. Think of it as a real-life video game, something that could revolutionize the way we watch basketball. The court has raised dots to give it traction and make it similar to courts used in the league. With all the firsts here in the Circle City, Indy is setting new trends future host cities will look to. Not only will set a new standard with the tip-off ceremony, but they're going to set a new standard for NBA All-Star. A few more firsts here for NBA All-Star Weekend. The first ever 24-hour day of service just kicked off in Lucas Oil. It's going to involve 5,000 mostly local volunteers who are going to pack a million meals over the next 24 hours. Another first, the concert series inside the Indiana Convention Center. You're going to have Lil Wayne there. You're going to have T-Pain. You're going to have Keith Urban, Zed, a few other musical guests as well uh, spread out between tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So a lot of things going on all over downtown this weekend. Dan and Beershell? Oh, it is going to be a lot of fun. Eric, any, any other big differences between what we've got set up for this All-Star game and what we might have had if it actually had been here in 2021? I, you know, when you think about the biggest differences, I think the biggest one might not be a thing but a person. It is Pacers star point guard Tyrese Halliburton. In 2021, you have no Tyrese Halliburton. You have no Tyrese Halliburton leading the team uh, in an in-season tournament. You have leading the team to a winning record at the All-Star break, something the Pacers fans have been desperate for. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of Tyrese Halliburton, including I have a pretty good feeling he'll be here tonight, Dan. It's going to be a good one. It was great in last year's That's contest, right. especially some of the craft skills. Yeah, so we're excited yes. to have a starter here on our home turf. Eric, thank you. We'll continue to follow some live coverage from Eric and Bicentennial. In the meantime, as you can see behind me, it's such a beautiful night out there. Sure is. And Bicentennial Plaza, brand new. So everyone getting to enjoy it. If you're yeah. joining us here in the Circle City for the first time, welcome. There is still so much more ahead, including that Hoosier Hospitality.